Hello, Gemini. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. About 53 Tarot, should read you as well. Thank you. Excuse me. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Interesting. Uh, right away, jumping into this Gemini, what they show me is they definitely are thinking of some sort of ideas as to how to leverage some sort of responsibility. It could be regarding their work, their financial position or standing, maybe their, you know, their line of work, whatever it is they do. There is a contemplation here as to what they truly want to do. But ultimately, I kind of feel like as they are taking care of what they need to, they're all about, like I said, looking for ideas of how to gain leverage. In a sense, sometimes leverage can be used as trying to gain the upper hand. Um, literally, I'll just show you an example, gaining the upper hand. Um, they're making some sort of decision and they're moving forward with it, but I'm not too, I'm not, not sure myself as to what their decision or choice is because they're starting something new or doing something new or different, but they themselves are almost like confused. I don't understand this. They're confused by their own decision. They could be wanting to take their work or their career in a new direction, but it's like, you make the choice to do that, but you don't understand your choice to do that. And so the longer they sit with, geez Louise, the longer they sit with this and try and fill things out, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't comprehend. Um, it's almost like maybe that's why. Maybe maybe because they want to take it in a new direction, they just don't know which direction to take it in. They're kind of like, I'm spinning circles here. Um, they're, they're trying to fill it out at the same time. It's kind of like heartbreaking at the same time. I will have to say this almost kind of feels like they did it to themselves. It does feel like they did it to themselves. I don't know why, but it's like what they're, unfortunately, what they're going through and experiencing. Um... I don't understand that. <clears throat> uh, maybe that's why. Whoa, goodness gracious, how does that make sense? Um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> new direction, new, yeah, that, that new direction is taking them left, taking them right, taking them on a detour here. Um, It's almost as if they are, how do I say this? I'm not gonna say that they're, they're not sabotaging. They're not like um, projecting doom and gloom or anything like that. But I almost energetically feel like with time, they almost can, it's interesting because with time they can almost sense financially speaking what may be up ahead. Cause they're showing me like, mm, I'm gonna hold on to what is most important to me and boom, there it is, something takes place and nothing is going anywhere. Yet at the same time, somehow because of this, like not even a pause, um, it's like something just like halted or stopped, not doing nothing. And yet somehow they're still in this energy of, well, mm, 
I need to strongly consider how to invest my time, my energy, and my resources in quickly. But how to go about doing that as well, they're not too sure. But they're trying to think, think quick, move fast at the same time. It's like... Um, Oh goodness, this could possibly be because of relocation. They could be re relocating, moving, that sort of thing. I definitely have relocating right there. Um, then that, that means something's not working. Something's not working anymore. I'm not gonna say it's their work or their career, their line of work or anything like that. Um, but things are definitely not as stable and secure as they used to be for this person. But they're ultimately still kind of showing me that the contemplation as to what to do about it, what their next step is going to be. So even if they relocate, they're still kind of on this and trying to figure out what, what they need to do. Who are you asking about, Gemini? Who are you asking about? What is that all about? I'm not seeing any type of dynamic here between the two of you yet. I'm not. That's why I'm like, who are you asking about? Um, <laughs> huh. I will say though, they are seeing a lot of red. They are seeing a lot of red, so much red that they need to kind of take a little bit of a break or a minute to themselves. Um, that's interesting. What is that about? What is that, I wonder? Uh, that's what I was wondering. That's what I was wondering. Um, they're going to fall off their high horse. I just saw, I just said this for, hmm. I believe I told Aries that, who they were dealing with. This is that same energy. This is a person who's on their high horse. Um, they present themselves as kind of like a knight in shining armor. like. But then at the same time, they're also falling from that high horse. Even though they're kind of showing me, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I can kind of, you know, dust myself off and keep going and still get what I want from this. I just need a minute to myself to kind of recover. <laughs> because as soon as they kind of recover here a little bit, they're wanting to move quick on some sort of next financial opportunity, even though it's not necessarily the greatest opportunity. They know it, and they're kind of like, well, it's very upsetting, but that's what it's all about, is you you pick yourself back up and you get back on the saddle. Um, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a water sign, an earth sign, a fire sign, and that is all.